trained females primarily. Yeah. Have you noticed like a big growth in women in the like the powerlifting strength and that kind of like sector? Have you noticed? A yeah, change? absolutely. I had someone message me the other day. They were like, it's, it's so cool to see so many women getting into powerlifting. Powerlifting is a very male dominated sport. My first competition was a women's only comp. So I never like, this is like the norm for me. Mm-hmm. But like I have gone to comps in the past and obviously in the competitions I do now, it's mostly men. Yeah. Um, and I mean, obviously we've seen the wave of weights training, like going from most women mostly being on the treadmill to yeah. now you're on the gym and like half of the room or maybe even more will be women. I it's really it. exciting. Oh, yeah. Um, but I think, yeah, that's one of my focuses is definitely bringing more and more women actually into powerlifting, the sport, not yeah. just strength training. Um, and getting women to compete because I think it's not a very popular sport. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like quite an underground sport yeah. to be honest. But like in the last few years, it's definitely become more popular through Instagram mm-hmm. with um, males and females. And then I think it's just actually getting women into these competitions because it can be quite scary um, being a male-dominated sport. Yeah. Um, but it's really cool to see it being, um, you know, like. Uh, seen through instagram and social media yeah like yeah uh, another benefit of yeah. social media and the more it's made popular the more competitions and money is going to be pumped into the sport yeah yeah, course, yeah. so that's only positive for athletes and meet directors and whatnot yeah how yeah. could that not be that how could yeah. that be yeah yeah <laughs> how could that not be positive you know yeah. what i mean yeah yeah um and so and also because there's less females competing that means there's more room to win and, yeah. get, and, and get somewhere yeah, yeah, with the sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, up until recently, there's some strong ladies oh, yeah. even within my business. Ooh, yeah. I got some competition. <laughs> I'm training my, I always say I'm training my competitors. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. That's my goal. I want yeah. to train my competition. I want to make oh, my yeah. girls my competition. And there's a few that are doing some right as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I have one, um, I have one client or athlete I should call yes. her now. Um, which if, I'll just plug her. So I'll plug her. Just, yeah. I'll plug her. Train with Tyra. We should have a lobby for that. That's probably <laughs> me, actually. <laughs> um, so yeah, like she's squatting more than me now. I've I've literally coached her for the last nine months, and she's put forty kgs on her squat. Wow. Um, so she's like she, yesterday she squatted one fifty for two. <gasps> And my squat's 142.5. Oh, <laughs> she started with a 110 squat. Oh, um, but it's cool. Like, I I think I posted on Instagram a few months ago. Like, I'm not... I started as doing that sport for myself to, like, I, like, I wanted to win. 